Hey, Brendo, Steve here. Welcome back. <laughs> Hey, Brendo, Steve here. Welcome back to Russell Juice. So we've all seen the footage at this point of CM Punk and Jack Perry getting into a little bit of a scuffle backstage at All In. It dropped on Dynamite, just plunked it right, right there in the episode. The Young Bucks kind of introduced it. They gave some very, very thin reason for showing this footage. They didn't actually do any voiceover narration. They just let it run in awkward silence. And, uh, and of course, it kind of didn't really serve to do much of anything beyond, I don't know, inflame the internet wrestling community even more than it already is. Um, <laughs> I even got hit with a little bit of collateral damage when this guy right here said that WWE has its D down my throat. Really? Really? That's where we're at now. Anyways, um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun. But one thing I noticed that once this happened, oh, the memes, the memes on Twitter are just too much. <laughs> so I thought I would go through them. As you can see right here, of course, we've got uh, It Was Life. Punk logging onto his burner and saying, everybody celebrate him. I, dude, I don't, I honestly don't think my original idea behind this, what I originally thought was, this isn't really going to sway anybody one way or another. This was just going to sort of like validate what people had already figured on and to be honest with you i didn't see a whole lot of difference here in the footage than what punk had said on mma hours i know some people are claiming oh well punk didn't know didn't mention that he sort of threw the first punch but punk did sort of insinuate i think that he choked out jack perry which means he insinuated or he i'm sorry he incited the incident himself um, <laughs> Adriana here says AW just gave Drew enough content to last a lifetime. Oh man, the 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 discourse around this is both exhausting and hilarious. Um, let's see. <laughs> Alexis Littlefoot says release the MVP Jericho footage. Tay Redacted says so. Okay, so in the name of this EVP FTR storyline. AEW decided of one, prove their biggest boogeyman, CM Punk, right? Two, make a pillar of AEW. Jack Perry look like a little bitch. Make scared for his life, Tony Khan, look like a little bitch. Tony Khan, not real, because if Punk started yelling at me like that and threatening to choke me too, I start moaning. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. That is funny. Melissa says, coming out with the biggest smirk on his face after fucking up a loser and having one last banger match with Samoa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I noticed this too. Wrestle Talk, my friend does over at Wrestle Talk, pointing out the AEW because there's, there's footage. Well, obviously, there's footage. There's the TV show. But also, like, I saw footage from like a fan cam inside the arena. Of like a dude saying, yeah, get him, punker. And then like the AEW crowd started chanting CM Punk during like the Young Bucks Kazuchika Okada bit where they were attacking Pac. Like what else did they think was going to happen? This guy is still incredibly popular and your, and your promotion's kind of sagging right now. I don't look, here's the thing. I'm not laughing. I'm laughing because this should like the, the internet reaction. This is hilarious, but also the arrogance of thinking and the comments well, AEW should be allowed to defend themselves. This was not a defense of AEW. This was not a, a rebuttal, a refute. This was none of that stuff. And it wasn't going to be that stuff. It basically went down the way CM Punk said it was going to go down. And then the reports out there that like Jack Perry easily got out of the chokehold that CM Punk put on him weren't true. Like CM Punk had that shit held on until people like uh, 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 took him down. Or they 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 broke it up. I don't know that the whole thing is incredibly silly, and everybody from the get go, from the moment this this sort of was announced, had figured this is probably going to backfire. They spent hardly any time building their title match between Joe and Swerve, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to that. And instead, they do something that was clear as day going to backfire from day one. You know, I get we we get flack over at the channel for being e drones, if you will, for being WWE fans. 
And and I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe people have a point with that. I don't criticize AEW because I don't like AEW. When I criticize AEW, much in the same manner as how I used to criticize WWE heavily. If you go back and look at the comments from 2021 when I was praising AEW and criticizing WWE, guess what? It's because AEW was really good back then and WWE sucked back then. Now, as is the case in wrestling often throughout the decades, one company is up and the other company is releasing footage of CM Punk. And it's just when I see something that I like, the problem is, the problem is when people get too wrapped up in their own tribalism, they stop looking objectively at the product that they watch. They think I'm an AEW fan and I'm always going to be an AEW fan no matter what. If the creative goes downhill, if the inspiration is gone, if the place starts, you know, not focusing on the things that maybe they should be focusing on, I don't care. I'm going to be on that bandwagon no matter what. I'm going to be on that train no matter what. I prefer to just look at things from trying to be a little bit more objective. And some of you may laugh at the idea that I'm trying to be objective. But honestly, if I think something sucks, I don't care what that thing is. I'm going to call it out on it sucking. I used to be the world's biggest Pearl Jam fan back in 1992. And then by the time 1998 rolled around, I kind of wasn't the biggest Pearl Jam fan. You know why? Because their album started sucking. I was the world's biggest My Morning Jacket fan back in 2003. And by 2007, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Things change, creative and wrestling changes. For all I know, this time next year, Triple H is going to be sucking an egg in WWE and it's going to not be good and AEW is going to be amazing. And then everybody's going to be like, oh my God, you're an AEW drone or whatever. <laughs> oh, Rachel Ellering here says, I can't stress this enough. Chris Hero is such a wonderful man and wore the hell out of that magenta polo. I know, I felt so bad for Chris Hero. I met him once. Uh, at the WWE Performance Center when I got to interview him, and he was the nicest, sweetest guy, and I've heard that from so many people, and I feel bad for him that he had to deal with this. I also felt bad for Tony Schiavone. It was clear he was not a fan of this move. It was clear he was not interested in putting this on national television. Uh, Black Guy Wrestling Podcast. Me on the next podcast talking about the all-in footage. I'm just saying he look messed up. I'm just saying he look like he got Yo, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> this has nothing to do with CM Punk. This dude says showgirls used to scare me because I thought she was a big worm. Oh, that was a random aside. <laughs> the animatronics get a bit quirky at night. No. <laughs> Not Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> oh, that is class. <laughs> that is absolutely classic. <laughs> Samoa Joe going to break up the punk Jack Perry scuffle. <laughs> uh, CM Punk in the all-in footage. One on one play. When a man going up against a man. Can I beat that man right there? Can I look down in a stone? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. When I see Punk choke out Jack Perry in the backstage footage. This is how real it is to The Rock. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you guys are too much. You guys are too much. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, when is Shaq going to finish the story? <laughs> I like this from Muscle Man Malcolm. CM Punk has appeared on Ron Dynamite the same week doing Rick Rude type stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Nobody CM Punk on Dynamite. <laughs> You're too close, man. You're too close. <laughs> oh, Chappelle was so good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, they're taking it down. They're taking down everybody who's posting it. Oh, come on. Let the people post it. <laughs> and it says, Jack Perry was just standing there looking at CM Punk like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. That's too much. That's too much. Anyways, so what did you guys think about the CM Punk 
brawl out brawl in footage uh let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys around <clears throat>